Hey guys, how y'all doing? Aaron here with you. Hope you're all doing good. Subscribers, new people checking this out for the first time, checking my stuff out. Uh, I'm feeling up to making some videos today. Although I've, I'm fucking running on like four hours of sleep and I'm sick and got a tooth pulled out this morning. But you know what? There's always time for music. Music heals the soul. No. Something like that, anyway. <laughs> Anyhow, in this one here, I'm going to show you guys how to play Creeping Death. I have my Metallica on bass. I did it on guitar the other day. I just ran through it, did the whole tutorial, and realized that my camera batteries died, so I'm doing it again. So I'm not annoyed, but it just sucks when you put 18 minutes into a tutorial and realize you only get 8 minutes because your battery's died. So I'm going to play it, but I'm, I'm going to play with a little bit more distortion than Cliff Burton used for this, for this song. And he's low in the mix. He, he, he's there, but his distortion is not so dignified. It's not as amplified so much. So I'm just going to amplify it here. Oh.
Creek Wing Death by Metallica. By the awesome Cliff Burton. Uh, mm. I could say Cliff didn't use that much distortion that I'm just using here now. Probably because there wasn't no such thing as distortion that fucking loud back then. He's buried in the mix on Ride the Lightning. It's not like so much like Kill em All. Kill em All is more, uh, less distortion and more, more balance, I guess. Like, I find his playing on Kill em All is terrific. It makes it really well. But for Ride the Lightning, it's not so bad. Uh, but Master Purpose is fantastic. Anyhow, so, uh, I'm going to show you how to play it. I'm going to break it down. I'm not going to play it note for note each because it, it goes on forever, right? I'm going to play it without distortion so you can hear it better and I can hear where I am the notes. So it's oboe and oboe 7 on the A, 7 5, 7, 8, 5, 10, 10. with something high, just a so like, like I said, like uh, the ninth fret on the first string. Now what he's doing, he's just riffing on the E, and then going to like, just like the, 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 the rhythm guitar part will go for guitar. That's That's the main riff of the song. I demonstrated that. It's very easy. It's not super, super hard. You just gotta be fast with your fingers to get it. See, even I mess up. And I've been playing bass for a long time. When you don't play with a pick, you want to get that sound with a pick. I can't believe I have a pick. You've never seen me pick up that pick. <laughs> I never play bass with a pick. Yeah, I go right to the seven on the on the uh, third string. That's the same as the open E. Same note to E. If, if you don't know that, you probably do. Yeah. 
guitar solo. <laughs> still hitting the E. I'd say he's probably doing those type of chords because he's very fond of those anesthesia type chords. Uh, he plays them in Orion a lot too and he plays them live. So it's kind of... Like I said, he's buried in the mix. He's not very high up in the mix. So anyhow, if you like what you see, uh, feel free to subscribe by all means. Got 536 subscribers. Seems like I'm getting one or two a new a day, which is pretty cool. Because uh, I play a diverse amount of, of music, so I'll, I'll be playing Garth Brooks, or I'll play Metallica, or what, what not. I mean, it's just what I feel like playing. So I've got over 1,200 videos online, mostly tutorials and covers, but mostly tutorials. And uh, I did a lot of Metallica. For every Metallica song I did on guitar, I pretty much did it on bass, or bass did it on guitar. Uh, I'm a fan of the older Metallica stuff, not so much the new stuff. But anyhow, so, subscribe if you like, uh, leave me a comment, tell me off, whatever. It's all good. I'm going to take the good with the bad. No. So, it's all good. So, got another tutorial for you coming up, another Metallica song. I'm doing it right after this one. Thanks for watching.